guys, Stitching May here. Gonna do a quick Happy Meal video. This is my first Happy Meal video. Um, I participated in a, an exchange on my forum. We call it Stashmas. Um, kind of like Christmas, but we call it Stashmas. And um, you send out a broad kind of general likes, dislikes list. And then the um, people who organize it set up a, li a kind of a round robin list and you send to somebody different. Like. I didn't send to the person that sent to me. I sent to somebody completely different. My gift did come from Rugby England. And um, I did do a original video of me opening it and opening because each item was wrapped in a tissue paper like gift package. But I was ooing and aahing so much that you couldn't really see the products. So I thought I would re-record it and just do the products. Um, first of all, I'll start off with this. <laughs> she sent me a candy bar. It's a Marvelous Creations Cola Pretzel Honeycomb covered in delicious Cadbury Dairy Milk. And she says, our chocolate has a reputation of being very sweet. So I thought I would add some and see what my American friends have to say about that. And first of all, the first thing I noticed is the packaging is completely different than it is here in the States. It's like a true kind of foil where ours is like this weird plastic cheap stuff. This is like a true foil package. Um, and this is very, very sweet. As you can see, it's only a little bit been eaten. I think like one little square. Let me see if I can get it to show you how big each little square is. But, um, it is very sweet. My sister and I, and I think my husband has actually had some of this. It's got these little square, well, no, it's not square pieces, but it just all broke off small pieces. But the reason we haven't devoured it is because um, it's a 200 gram bar and every 100 grams has 505 kcals, which means that this whole bar has over a thousand kcals in it. It's kind of scary. So it's sitting in my refrigerator and getting, you know, getting enjoyed a little bit at a time. And now on to the important stuff. Not that chocolate's not important, but you know, the, the stitchy stuff is more important. And a great gift. I and mean, she got me so much stuff. Um, we are supposed to have a 15 pound limit. I think she went above that. Um, I'll start off with the pole stitches grab bag. That's the address. She even, even sent a little card along with it. And the first fabric that I'll show, I'll just kind of go is this dark kind of stormy color. I love this. I think it's got some light blues and some grays and some whites. And I apologize about the shadow. It's a rainy day here in Georgia. But um, I absolutely love this fabric. I've had, I've got a piece of hand dyed even weave and I'm not stitched on it, but it's very stiff. This is so, so soft. I'm really excited about trying some of this. And then there's this really pretty purple that has some light variations in it. I don't know if you can see because the shadow, God, I didn't realize this shadow was this bad. But it's got the lighter colors and some pinkish purple there. Some dark purple, really pretty. And then there's this one. This one reminds me of Easter. It's got some pinks and some blues and some whites. Some teals, and teal's my favorite color. So, that one's really faint. I bet you can't see all the pretty colors on the camera. And then there's this sparkly one. It reminds me of the sky. It's got a little bit of purples. It's kind of like this, this previous one, but a little darker. Now, this one's a little stiffer. I guess, I guess it's because of the, um, the opalescent. Or the sparkle floss that's going through it. My sister's already claimed this one. She's going to find me something that she wants me to stitch on it. It's got some reds and some oranges and some greens. Some colors that you really wouldn't think would go together. But they really do. It's really, really pretty color. And this one, I can barely tell the color changes in this so I doubt you'll be able to tell on the camera but there's some teals 
and some light blues and some whites in this one as well. Again, it's so, so soft. And then she, oh, I forgot to show the card. It's a dandelion card. And it says, Happy Stashmas. Every Stitcher's favorite time of year. I hope you enjoy your gift as much as I did putting it together. And she signed the card. And then she sent me some really pretty threads. And these are all of pearl cotton. By the, well, these few are by the MC. Pardon me. And then she sent me some silk. I've never stitched through the silk, and I absolutely love this color. And this is by Dinky Dyes, number 162. Pendy. Eight meters and it's a hundred percent silk and I've never I, this is gonna be interesting I've never sit stitch with silk I'm kind of afraid to because I'm afraid I'm gonna like it way too much and these can be very expensive or at least here they can be and then she sent me some more um, floss I think this is just regular you know the six stranded floss by Threadworks um, it's over dyed 1148 is 20 yards And I love these colors. Again, it's the orange and green and purple colors that I would have never put together, I don't think. But I think they look really nice together. I mentioned that I had wanted to try to do some beading. So she sent me three packets of beading beads and some beading needles. Um, silver beads. Some copper beads and some gold beads and I like the little case that they're in let's open that upside down that would have been a mess this little star case because this can more than likely be repurposed later I don't know if she sent some of these from her own collection or if these came like this or where she got these little star packages but I, I think these are really neat and then she sent me some treasure braids which Jess Marie mentioned that she had a hard time finding them where she lives. And I too have not been, not been able to find the treasure braids where I live. Um, which is odd. Sorry, I don't know why I've got a yawn today so much. Um, because they're, they're made in the U.S. and California. But they can be hard to find. She sent me a gold and kind of a silvery iridescent color. I'm looking really forward to trying with trying these. Metallics can be hard to stitch with, as you stitchers know. But I've heard these are great to stitch with. So we'll see. She sent me a small kit. It's a cute little porcupine with a, I think a daisy, which my favorite flower is a daisy. So that's perfect. It's got a little bee on there. A lot of back stitch in the porcupine, but he is so, so cute. And I mentioned that Bent Creek was my favorite designer, so she sent me this small pattern. It's um, a cat on some books, and it's called Edu Educated. Educated. Educa ed educated. <laughs> and just just a simple one, one page pattern, but it's so cute. And then she also sent this coaster. Um, so I can figure out how it opens up for you non-stitchers when I first opened it I thought she had already stitched it but when I looked closer I realized that she had not stitched it that it's just a piece of paper but this is a template where you know what size of item to put in it but you put your you stitch your item and put it in here and use it as your backing and then you close it up and your piece stays nice and safe inside the coaster I actually already know what I'm going to do um, I'm going to use this, um, I, as you guys have seen, I'm doing the 99 bottles by Ink Circles. I'm probably going to choose like three or four, maybe two, how many ever will fit of my husband's favorite bottles on that pattern and sew them on here and or sew them on a piece of fabric and put them in um, in here and put the, that in his 
put those in his music room. That way he can put it on his desk and I don't have to worry about getting, you know, water all over his desk. But, um, that's really everything. I had a kind of a confession, though, that we were supposed to open this on December the 1st. And I had been so excited about opening it that my husband had actually hidden the package from me to where I couldn't open it ahead of time. Well, I called him Friday night. He was at work, and I said, at midnight, I called him, and I said, it's December the 1st. Um... You know, where's my package? Or I said, where? I, no, I didn't even say the date. I messaged him. I said, hey, where'd you have my package? And he told me where, you know. And I opened, I messaged him back and I sent him, you know, sent him the pictures of what I got. And he said, um, you do realize that it's not, you know, December the 1st, right? I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, it's just the 30th. So I opened it a day early completely by accident. I so thought that it was a, you know, the, the first. <laughs> So I couldn't post on my forum that I had opened it for until everybody else opened theirs. But um, I had a lot of fun in this doing this exchange. And like she said in the in the card, I, while I do completely 100% enjoy and look forward to using my items, I had a lot of fun um, searching for somebody else. Because um, I was I actually got somebody whose taste is completely different than mine. She does the Nora Corbett charts and I was able to find her you know search through all the Nora Corbett and send her a, a um a gift from Nora Corbett and I went ahead and sent her um the floss and everything that went with it. It was a lot of fun shopping for somebody else and seeing looking at the different side of the cross stitch because um cross stitch patterns and stuff and style because I tend to only look at the things that I like instead of looking at everything. So it was a lot of fun and I look forward to doing this again next year. And uh, just thanks for watching my first Happy Meal video. And you guys take care.